We have now been at sea for seven months and I grow anxious to once again walk on dry land. One month into our trip, we stopped at a place called Tenerife where the soldiers picked up fresh food and water. The rats and bugs multiplied in the heat and made life on board even more miserable. A while later, we stopped at a place called Rio de Janeiro where we got big, juicy oranges and I even caught a sight of land when they pushed us all out to clean those ships. Later, there were ferocious storms and the waves crashed against the side of the boat and there was a river of vomit sloshing from wall to wall. It was a miracle we survived. Finally, we came to stop in a place called Cape Town where the soldiers took on final provisions. A whisper of excitement spread throughout the crowd as we realised we'd finally reach land very soon. The more time I spend here below deck, the more I wonder what life will be like in the new colony. I hope it will be green fields with lots of beautiful, big, juicy apple trees and berry bushes. I have heard rumours though of wild savages that eat children. <sighs> Suddenly, I feel very small and afraid. I do hope it will promise a new life, better than this anyway.